Namaste, Hari Om. Welcome to episode 3 of Ramayana Aranya Kanda, a vignette of the Dandakaranya. The scariest and biggest events of Ramayana will happen in the Aranya Kanda. Now, let me tell you more about the Danda forest. This reference is not from Valmiki Ramayana, but from the Puranic Encyclopedia. Dandakaranya literally means the forest of punishment. It extends from the northeast of our country down to the Deccans. How did it get the name Dandakaranya? Let's jump into the Ikshvaku dynasty. The great king Ikshvaku had a hundred sons. His last son was called Danda, was low pitted and unruly. He was not at all fitting in the dharmic role of the king as a brilliant prince. So, with that story from him, he sent him to the Dandak forest to lead a simple life in the ashram of Guru Sukracharya. There, the leader does not follow the rules and disciplines of the ashram. Above all, he became a Mahapati and a Mahamurga by committing a sinful act by misbehaving with the Guru's daughter, Ana. Guru Sukracharya cursed him, cursed the forest, saying, Death will prevail over those who ever enter the Dandakaranya. The forest became dark, demonic influences grew, not even sunlight enters. But on the brighter side, the Dandakaranya was the abode of many rishis, munis and hermits who renounce the world and pray to God through penance and yajnas. As Ram, Lakshmana and Sita enter the forest, those yogic men visualize them as in Vaikuntha, as Mahavishnu, Sri Lakshmi and Adi Sesha. Wow! What a story behind the Dandaka forest. What I understood is good and bad exist together. They coexist. The forest is blessed at the same time cursed. It is up to us to choose. Next, this has given me an idea to count and explore the forest. Valmiki has mentioned in his Ramayana. See you in my next review. Bye.